Hi, I'm Maria Nagaga. Welcome back to Code Conversations. Hi, I'm Jazz Baga. So in our last video, Jazz, we talked about building our own tag helper component. So mm -hmm. let's remind the audience what we saw last week. Okay, sure. So we talked about how you can target the body HTML element and have a script inserted for each body HTML element without changing the views. Which, and I found that so useful yeah. because rather than going through every single file and mm -hmm. trying to figure out where to change it, Tag Helper components make this so much easier. Yeah, for sure. Which is so cool. Yeah. And even though you know, we're, you're know you going to be shipping with head and body support, That's right. you did mention in your last video that we can start making our own. That sounds a little bit daunting to me. It's actually really easy. Let me, let me show you an example. OK, so let's have yeah. a look. Yeah, so let's look at. Currently, we're going to ship with the head and the body tag helper. You see how little code there is. It's, that's it? Yeah, that's really all. This is all you need to do, and you can choose whatever HTML element you want and modify it to show that, and it will work just fine. That's pretty cool. OK. Yeah, yeah let's get started. So let's say in your index file you had a footer okay. that you want it to modify. And in the footer, you wanted a certain script to write to the document, the current time on the server. So we'll need this guy, similar to a body tag helper, but this time we'll target footer. So let's just copy this code that you can find on the MVC GitHub repo. Oh, so I can just go and copy this and oh, for sure. go. Yeah, just take this code. We're going to create a new file and name it my tag helper. And we're just going to put the code that we got. We can just get rid of the stuff that we don't need. Let's clean it up a little bit so it's easier to see what I'm doing. OK. Um, here. Okay, so you added the appropriate. Yeah, okay. appropriate usings. And Visual Studio is great. It tells you what to add automatically. I love it. The light bulb yeah. is my favorite. Feature. I know. Control dot, and you're good to go. <laughs> OK, so let's say we want to target footer this time. So you just change it to say footer. Obviously, change our name with the class and the constructor. Awesome. So now we have a tag helper that helps you target footers. and in our last video, we talked about how you can write a component that can change your HTML element. So yeah. let's. We, so you've changed it to footer. Mm -hmm. What's the next thing that we need to do? OK, let's look at our tag helper component. And this time, let's say you want to target the footer. So in the tag helper component, in this file, that's where you started talking about the elements that you are trying to target. Exactly, exactly. Okay. This tells the tag helper component to find the specific HTML element. And then this guy, the append HTML, will actually render the content that you want. Okay. So let's look at this. Um, let's say you want this script. So you, you don't have to do anything to your uh, view file. You, you don't need any scripts there. And you can put it right here. So when you showed it to us earlier, we had it, the script in the footer. That's when you'd have to manually go to every single footer that you had in exactly. every single view. Mm -hmm. And then rather than doing that, we can just put in our tag helper component and exactly. it's solved. Yeah. yeah, and if at a later point you want to edit what you want in your footer, you don't have to go through every file. You can just come to this guy and be like, I want this rendered now. So it will take care of that. So you don't have to change multiple files all the time. Cool. Yeah, and now our in our startup file, we're going to configure it so our application knows about our tag helper component, similar to what we did in the last video where we added a transient and we told it to look for the tag helper component. But also this time, since we added a new tag helper that's not, a, uh, that's not shipped out of the box, we need to tell uh, our app to look for it. Here, similar to what MVC does, this tells our application to look for all the tag helpers all the tag helpers in MVC. We're going to do a similar thing. We're going to say add tag helper and look for all the ones that were in in my tag, tag helper component sample. Oh, cool. Okay, so the assembly name, in, the, in this case, it could just be the project name. Should, should it have my tag helper at the front? or? 
Um, if you wanted to be specific, oh, okay. if you had multiple and you wanted to say, I only want to import these, but in our case, we just have one, so we can just okay. go ahead with this. So uh, everything is configured. Let's see what that gives us. Oh, there, there it there is. There we go. So the time on the server is printed twice what? because we have two footers. So let's okay. look at the code quickly. Um, there's our footer right there and from the index file and the footer from the layout file. They both have a script inserted now. Yeah, without having to manually put it in every single space. Exactly. Now, we've shown you one example, an MVC will ship with head and body, but there are probably other uses for it. And if you guys think of any scenarios that, where you can use tag helper components or other HTML elements that you want to target, please free, free, free to tweet at me. I'd love to know about your other ideas. And you can let our team know about what you think. So should they can tweet at you. Should they also be putting things in the issues? And yeah, feel free to send us pull requests. Our engineers will uh, help you through them. And they'll uh, help you add it to our MVC. This Project. has been really cool. Like yeah. I'm, I'm actually more inspired to go and start making my own tag helper components, yeah. as I hope everyone who's watching this video is as well. Yeah, you can also see our sample to get started. Um, the samples will be posted on .NET Foundation's GitHub repository. OK, thank yeah. you so much for coming yeah. and talking to us about tag helper components. It was my pleasure. It's really exciting. It's mm -hmm. also nice to see that they aren't that hard to build. Yeah, like you showed us 18 easy. lines, 18, 20 lines, yeah. and I couldn't believe that was it. I know. So this is really exciting. Thank you so much for coming, Jack. Thank you for having me, Maria. All right. See you next time. See ya.